fifth graders, we are continuing learning about converting measurements. So today we are going to talk about um, volume and capacity. Liquid volume is a good way to think about it. <clears throat> In front of you, I've got an image of a gallon, which is like a big jug. I bet most of you have a gallon of milk in your refrigerator right now. So if you want to go look at that to help you figure out how big is a gallon, that might help you out. So in a gallon, we have four quarts. You can fit four of these inside of a gallon. This is going to be important to remember for when we do our conversions. Okay, and then within one quart, we have two pints. Okay, so if I had four gallons, or sorry, four quarts in one gallon, how many pints do you think I have in one gallon? I'd have two, four, six, eight. And then inside of a pint, I have two cups. A lot of times we use cups in measurements when we're cooking and making recipes. So there's two cups in one pint. I wonder how many cups do you think are in a quart? Let's see, one, two, three, four. There's four in one quart. How many cups do you think are in a gallon? We could count by fours. So we can go four, eight, 12, 16. So this is just an easy way to look at it to help us think about how big the different sizes of measurements are that we're going to talk about today. <clears throat> if you haven't already, it would be best for you to go ahead and print this reteach lesson. It's lesson 10.2. And if you want, you can find it actually in the description of this YouTube video. So if you scroll down into the description, you might have to click on the show more tab. There will be a link there that will take you to the PDF so you can print this out and do this along with me. Okay, it says you can convert one unit of customary capacity to another by multiplying or dividing. So just like last time, we talked about we multiply to change from larger to smaller units. So we're still keeping with that rule. And then we are going to divide to change from smaller to larger units. All very important information. And then over here, this is our customary units of capacity chart. This will give us all of our conversions that we're going to use to do our math. All right. <clears throat> so in the example, it says convert eight cups to quarts. So since we're going from cups to quarts, and we can glance at this thing if we don't remember, there's cups and there's a quart. So a cup is definitely smaller than a quart. So we're going smaller to larger, which means we want to divide. So they circled the word divide. So think, if there's four cups in one quart, which in that information you can find over here in our chart, there's four cups to one quart. That means you would do eight, right there, that eight comes down here, divided by four. Eight divided by four is two. So eight cups is equal to two quarts. Then they want us to convert 19 gallons to quarts. So a gallon is super huge. It's right here. This is our gallon. And then a quart is right here. It's smaller. So we're going from larger to smaller, which means we are going to multiply. So they circled the word multiply. Think one gallon equals four quarts. So 19 gallons equals 19 times four. And they did the math here and it's 76. So 19 gallons is equal to 76 quarts. Okay, I know that's probably a little bit confusing if it's your first time trying math like this. So that's okay. We're going to do this together and we'll just take it step by step. <clears throat> On page 
On number one, it says 14 pints equals blank quarts. Well, we've got to figure out, are we going larger to smaller or smaller to larger? Pints to quarts. I'm going to glance again at our picture. Here's my pint, here's my quart. Pints are smaller than quarts, so I'm going from smaller to larger, which means I want to divide. So we're going to do 14 divided by, and how many pints are in a quart? Look up here at our chart. There are two pints in one quart, so we're going to divide by two. 14 divided by two. Can you do that math in your head? I bet you can. It is seven. Good. All right, next one. 32 quarts equals blank cups. So we've got, we're going from quarts to cups. And a quart is bigger than a cup, so we're going larger to smaller, which means we want to multiply. 32 times, and then I've got to figure out what number to multiply by, and I'm going to look at this chart. So I need the line that says quarts and cups. So one quart is equal to four cups. So my number is four, 32 times four. I'm gonna get a scratch piece of paper. That's kind of a big math problem. We don't have our, we don't have our 32s memorized. So we'll do 32 times four. And we're gonna do it like that. Go ahead and pause the video and see if you can do this math problem on your own. Okay, how did you do? Let's see if we, you and I get the same answer, okay? Four times two is eight. Four times three is 12. Did you get 128? If you did, that's the right answer. Okay. Um, over here we have seven cups equals blank fluid ounces. So cups, I don't have fluid ounces on here, but fluid ounces are smaller than a cup because there's eight fluid ounces inside of one cup, okay? So I'm going from larger to smaller, which means I want to multiply. So seven times, and my conversion, one cup is equal to eight fluid ounces, so the number eight is what I want to multiply it by. I bet you know what seven times eight is. What do you think? What is it? That's right. 56. Awesome. Okay, I want you to try, go ahead and pause the video and try problems four, five, and six on your own. And then we'll uh, meet back together and you can check to see if your answers were right. Okay, let's see how you did. So we converted 28 cups into pints. And uh, I figured out that we are going to do 28 divided by 2, which equals 14. So you should have had the answer 14 pints for number 4. Okay. And then on number 5, 9 gallons. So we would have done 9. And since gallons is bigger or larger than quarts, we're going to multiply. 9 times 4. That's an easy one. What's 9 times 4? 36. And then on number 6, we had 16 cups. Um, and since we're going from cups to quarts, it is going from smaller to larger, which again, we want to divide. So we're going to go 16 divided by 4 because there are four cups in one quart. 16 divided by four, can you do that math in your head? Yep, it is four, because four times four is 16, and that's just an inverse. Okay, we are ready to go ahead and go down here and compare. We're gonna do either uh, less than, greater than, or equal to. <clears throat> so on number seven, what I wanna do is I wanna convert uh, the left side of the circle here. I want to convert it so that they are both in the measurement of cups. Then I can have an, be able to compare them easily because they have to be in the same units of measure. So 16 quarts converted um, into cups. If I want to go from quarts to cups, 
larger to smaller, I want to multiply. So I would go 16 times, and then I'm going to look up here. I have four cups in one quart, so I would go 16 times four. And let's do that math. 16 times four. Hey, you write that out on your scratch paper. Go ahead and pause the video and give it a try. All right. Four times six is 24. Four times one is four, plus two is six. So you should have got the answer 64. So on this side, I have 64 cups. And on this side, I have 60 cups. So which one's larger? Definitely the 64. So I want to put the greater than symbol because 16 quarts is greater than 60 cups. All right, number eight, I wanna change my fluid ounces into cups. So I'm going from smaller to larger, which means I'm gonna to have to divide. So 88 divided by Let's see, our conversion number up here is an eight. There's eight fluid ounces in one cup. 88 divided by eight equals, this is easy math, I can do this in my head. I know that eight times 11 is 88, so 88 divided by eight is gonna equal 11. Well, hey, if it's an 11 on that side and it's 11 on this side, we are gonna have an equal sign. Awesome. Okay, on number three, or sorry, this is number nine. Um, you know what? I'm gonna have you go ahead and try these on your own. So I want you to pause the video and try nine, 10, 11, and 12 all by yourself. Let's see if you can do it correctly and if you and I get the same answers. Go ahead and pause. Okay, welcome back. Let's see if you get the same answers that I do. I hope you did. But you know what? It's okay if you didn't. If you end up getting something wrong, you can just go ahead and try it again. Um, and I don't want you to just flip the symbol and say, oh, well, if, if that one's not greater than the other one must be. Because sometimes it will be an equal sign. So I don't want you to just guess and switch the symbol. I want you to actually try to convert uh, these numbers to make sure that you're doing it correctly. So over here... I converted my gallons into quarts. Three gallons is equal to 12 quarts. And I know that 12 is greater than 10, so I'm gonna have the greater than symbol in there. On number 10, I did 36 times four, because there's four cups in every quart, and I got the number 144 cups on that side, which is definitely greater than 54. On number 11, we start with 66 fluid ounces, and I divide it because ounces are smaller than cups, so I would go 66 divided by 8, since there's 8 ounces in every cup. Again, you find that information up here. So 66 divided by 8, what I ended up getting, because um, it doesn't just evenly divide, there is a remainder. So I got, uh, I'll write it down here eight cups and two fluid ounces. Okay, so eight cups and two fluid ounces. Well, nine cups is still gonna be bigger. So I'm gonna put the less than symbol here. Eight, yeah, 66 fluid ounces is less than nine cups. Okay, here's our last one, 16 gallons. Um, since we're converting from gallons to quarts, we're going larger to smaller which means I need to multiply. So 16 times, and there are four quarts in every gallon, so times four. And you know what? We actually did that problem earlier. Do you still have your scratch paper? 16 times four is 64. So on this side, we have 64 quarts. And look, they're both the same number. We're gonna have an equal to right there. Perfect, you guys did a great job. Um, again, if you messed up on any of them, that's totally okay. I would love for you to just try to do the math again to see if you can do it correctly. Um, thank you for tuning in and we'll catch you next time. Bye.